Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sakar Prajapati, and in this video, I am going to explain you the concept of masking which can be done in using a PySpark code 2. So, if you are familiar with Unity Catalog, so there we have an option, a UI option by which we can am enabling the column masking, right? But moving forward, you know, uh, right now using Spark 3.5.0. Uh, we can uh, we have a function called mask over here by which we can hide our sensitive data for the, uh, for the users or to the users okay so for an example this is a simple data frame and you can assume that in a real world scenario there 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 would be a lot of columns which will which hold a lot of sensitive data like a date of birth maybe a mobile number a email address and uh, maybe a uh, uh, Aadhaar card number if you're in, in India or some ID number if you're in the US then it is SSN number right so we have to hide it like we, we do not want to show these data to everyone right so what we do over here that you know uh, this is a kind of data data frame I have created and now I'm going to hide a SSN and I'm going to hide my last name also okay so how we can do that so first of all you have to import this function mask okay and then and i already you know uh, ran this and what i'll do i'll create a new data frame let's say df underscore final is equal to df dot i'm i'm gonna add a new column so that's why i'm i'm using here with column right and let's say i want to uh, hide uh, you know a mask mask ssn so i'm using mask underscore ssn and then i am calling this function called mask and here see if you hold down over here then you can see that it takes a lot of parameters the first parameter would be a call a column name and then uh, other one are the optional one okay like upper character lower character digit character other character and so right so here basically we have to pass a new uh, a column name which we want to hide which want to which want to hide right a not a column a value so here what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna write here SSN and simple I'm gonna do display so by default see right now it is showing me an n n n n some so it denotes that it's a number right what if if I do not want to hide with this n n n I want to hide with this with some number that of I mean with some different symbol on and all right so what we can do over here we can call a parameter called digit care okay and I can pass here let's say star so this n and n will be replaced with stars if you want you can keep any any character it's it's totally on you now in in a case of a different column let's say I'm I'm gonna mask a last name I do not want to show full name and the last name both names so that everyone I mean anyone can understand anyone can relate or anyone can find out the whole information if he or she knew all the information of mine right so I want to hide I want to hide a last name so right now I'm creating a new column right but idly we will be overwriting a over overwriting a existing column right so last name underscore SS, uh, SSN and then the same thing I will be using over here but see in this case we do not have a digit character right in the last name we have what we have some characters so instead of this attribute I will be using let's say okay it is not coming lower character I want I have to make it like uh, with X not X uh, star that's a dollar see it returns like a uh, dollar dollar because I have used a lower character I said that hey lower character should be replaced with dollars and upper character by default the upper, upper character will be replaced by X right what if if I use here upper character 2 now I am saying no upper character should be replaced by star, uh, X trick 
so it mark okay just a minute u is small sorry my bad u should be small you can see right so likewise you can actually uh, you know uh, hide or mask your the values correct so here uh, you know i would like to introduce my course database certified data engineering due to you here if you like this video so you can uh, go and check out this course it has everything covered from basic to advanced uh, right and you can see that close 22 hours content is uh, is covered over here so if you are interested please go check out the course and know that the course you can you you can use some promo codes uh, which will be given over here while you are clicking on buy, clicking on buy now button right and there are a lot of other courses too you can go to this courses page and you can find out other courses too like azure data engineering end-to-end -end project courses fabric courses power bi courses data modeling courses and so so i will give the link in the description box so that you can it will be easier for you to uh you know check out these courses Chalo. thank you bye bye and if you do like this video please share with your friends so that they will also understand it and uh, yep that's it Chalo. thank you bye bye